Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Uh, this has been requested. Um, if you're currently going through a situation where uh, you're trying to draw love into your life, or for those of you guys that are trying to reconcile with your partner, if there's been misunderstandings or arguments or even a brief separation, uh, this spell is definitely going to help you. Now, for those of you guys that are in good terms but you kind of feel like the relationship has weathered a little bit or like it's gone a bit cold this is definitely going to bring to you closer um and also bring ignite the passion within you guys so again this could be done for reconciliation this could be done to draw in your partner closer to you to make them more passionate more uh desirable uh when it comes to you know sexual connection um <clears throat> so I'm going to take you guys step by step. As always, intention is very important, you guys. Do not go into spell work when you're feeling like you've lost control of the situation or you feel like you're stressed, you're desperate. You have to remember that those energies is what you're drawing to the spell. So again, make sure to ground yourself. Make sure to cleanse yourself before doing any type of work, okay? All right, so it's very simplistic to do. All you really need is apples as you can see here we have an apple already ready to go um you can use any type of apple ideally uh one like this or a red one um the sweeter the better so just make sure that it's not green so it's not sour uh you want uh, to sweeten the relationship okay now what you're also going to be needing is you're going to be needing some type of parchment paper you're going to be needing three tea lights, um, ideally white. Um, if you're trying to intensify the passion, then you would be using red. Uh, you're also going to be needing some cinnamon powder. You're going to be needing some siete machos. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen uh, me use this on multiple occasions for uh, many different types of love workings. Um, if you don't have siete machos, you can always substitute that. Uh, with any type of love, uh, love drying oil, as you guys can see here, we're also going to be using the love binding oil. But again, if you don't have that, um, you can uh, get any type of love oil, uh, come to me oil, follow me boy or follow me girl oil. Um, any type of love drying oil is going to be crucial here. Now, be I'm going to be giving you guys uh, some... Uh, some little you know uh, tips that you guys can do to amplify this work as you guys can see here uh we have three different uh candle th th it's not candlesticks sorry incense um incense sticks that i burnt when i was charging and consecrating the apple that i was burning when i was charging the uh, and ritualizing the apple and that's exactly the sticks that i'm going to be using now um, I'm also going to be using, you're going to be needing some nails. So you can use, uh, preferably you can use four nails like these uh, that have already been consecrated and ritualized. Um, if you want to empower the nails, and I say four, as you can see here, we're going to be using three of the burned love uh, incense sticks um that i use to consecrate the apple that's what i'm going to be using as well so instead of using four nails i'm going to be do just using these two and adding the sticks that are going to that were specifically used for the charging and consecration of the apple so again let me make it clear for those of you guys that don't have incense to burn when you're consecrating your tools then of course you would be using four of these nails okay because i did have and i used them to consecrate and ritualize the apple i'm going to be using these as well because they're made from wood it empowers the connection um and i'm going to be using these two nails here that have been ritualized as well now if you want to make your nails stronger what you can do is uh, you can go out into the open during the day and hammer the nails on the ground of your home um, when the sun is out and charge them with the light of the sun and what you're doing is you're asking the element of fire you're asking the element of the masculine 
uh, to assist you in charging and consecrating the nails so that they can pull towards them the solar energy so that you can bring that uh, ignited passion into the work, okay? Is it necessary for you to do that? No, but if you want to amplify it, I definitely suggest you do that, okay? All right, so we're going to be using three tea lights, like I said, cinnamon, uh, siete machos, and the binding oil. If you don't have that, you can substitute uh, the siete machos with another love oil. Um, if you don't have the love binding oil, you can substitute it with another love oil. So it would be two different love oils, okay? All right, so you're going to be needing a knife or something to cut your apple. Now you're going to cut the apple sideways, okay, like this. So as you guys can see here. So what we're left with, we're left with the stars, as you can see here. And in this one as well. All right. So we're going to make some, uh, you're going to cut it around, make sure it doesn't go through the apple. And what you're doing is we're making space so that we can put our petition paper and the information that needs to go on there. Okay. All right, so make sure to get um, any type of clay plate or, as always, like I tell you, foil paper is a great substitute for that. Now, what you're also going to be needing is you're going to be needing some honey and some agave. So if you don't know what agave is, it's a, a kind of like a honey, a substitute for honey. It's a little bit, mu um, a little bit more... I don't think it's that easy to find, but I don't think it's that difficult either. Now, if you don't have agave, you can always use honey, okay? Now, I like to use the agave for this specific spell because it does, you know, it makes it a little bit stronger and gives you quicker results. What you're also going to be needing is a rose. Now, it could be a fresh or it could be a dry. You guys know I prefer to work with dry herbs, uh, so that's what I'm going to be using here, okay? All right, so let's get into the spell work. What you're going to do is you're going to write down your partner's name on the petition paper, and it's going to be going down three times. Name and their information. You're going to put the partner's name, their first name, last name, and date of birth three times going down like this. All right. Once that is done, what you're going to do is, so it's going to be like this. You're going to turn it to the right. And you're going to write down your information. So it's going to be your name. So you're going to write down your first name, last name, and date of birth. Seven times going down. So you're crossing them. Okay? All right. So once you do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to turn it again to the right. And you're going to write down your petition over the partner and your name okay so petition going down so in this petition try to make it as simplistic as possible and as short as possible you don't want to make it very difficult uh, so what you're going to be doing as an example is you're going to be asking the spirits of love to bless your relationship to bring your partner or draw your partner closer to you to amplify the love that you share for each other and to only remind that partner of the fond memories and positive things that they have experienced or feelings that they have experienced in this relationship make it as simplistic as possible if you want more love uh, make sure to put in the petition that you want your partner to be sweeter, to be more loving towards you. If you want more sex, make sure to put in that your partner is more intense and more passionate. If you want better communication, you want your partner to be open and vulnerable to share their feelings with you. So make it as simplistic as possible. Once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to be putting some of the siete machos. If you don't have this, you would be putting... Um, the love oils here uh, once you you don't need very much you can just put a couple of drops and what you're going to do is you're going to rub it with both your hands putting your energy in this petition putting all the love all the intensity that you're wanting to draw from your partner towards you putting it into the petition okay so once that is done now we're going to put the other love oil 
if you have the love binding oil you don't need very much you really know uh, for those of you guys that have bought this on my online store you guys already know that um, it's very concentrated so you don't re you don't need very much of it so I'm going to put a just a drop here and again you're going to rub it on the petition paper you know really putting your love your energy towards this petition towards what you're wanting to bring towards you once that is done what you're going to do now is you're going to fold the petition paper towards your direction so that they're coming towards you so that their love their passion their intensity their eyes are towards you make sure to put all this loving energy into it when you're doing this and get excited about them uh, reaching out if there's been a separation they're reaching out and they're wanting to communicate with you and really show you the love that they have for you um, so again once that is done what we're going to do now is I'm going to put this sample to the side and I'm going to use my client's information here so what we're going to do now is we're going to put it in the apple <clears throat> as such and what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding the cinnamon here. We're going to be adding the cinnamon on both the apples, okay? And we're going to be adding the rose petals. Now, you don't need m much. I would suggest for you to put one or two rose petals here, okay? <clears throat> Now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some of the agave and honey on top of the rose petals. Oh. Okay. And the honey, like I said. And like I said, you don't Like I said, you don't need very much of it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're basically going to close the apple. So you're going to bring both pieces of the apple together like this, and you're going to close it. Try to find... Okay, give me one second. Yes, you guys, this is going to get a bit messy. <laughs> I'm going to add in the piece of apple. Okay, so you're going to close it something like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So now what you're going to do is you're going to introduce the nails into the apple in a downward and upward position make sure to be careful you guys you don't want to hurt yourself so what i do here is i do it in one side and then i turn the apple around and i do the other side okay like that okay so it's on one side and the other side so then what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get the incense sticks that i used uh, to ritualize this apple and i'm going to do the same thing going through it okay let me turn it this way <clears throat> and one more what I do here is I just go towards the center all the way down all right 
whatever piece remains of the apple, uh, make sure to put some honey over it and eat that piece, okay? Very important. All right. So once that is done, let me move this really quick. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the tea lights and you're going to go around the apple. So you can put it however feels true to you. If you guys know and you've been following me for a while or you watch my Instagrams, so you already know how I do. Uh, usually I create a triangle um, because I draw in that energy and it's easier uh, for me anyways uh, to connect with spirits that way, okay? All right, so once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to ask your spirit guides, um, whoever deity you work with, this is where you would invoke them. This is where you would call upon them. For my, um, give me one second. For myself, uh, what I do is I get a shot, a glass shot, shot glass, sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to put some rum on here. This is a ritual that must, once it's done, once you light the tea lights, you must allow it to completely extinguish. Once the tea lights are done, you're going to leave this apple undisturbed for three consecutive nights. After the third night, what you're going to do is you're going to get the apple and you're going to bury it. So you're going to bur ideally bury it in a garden. If you don't have a garden uh, and you have, as an example, um, a pot of flowers, roses, whatever, you can bury it there um if you don't you can always take it to the park and bury it by a park where there's uh where it's very lush and green ideally okay so what you do here is again like i said this is where you invoke your deity for myself i'm doing this work for my client so i would call upon san simon i would say san simon i ask you to be present right now i call upon saint simon to assist me and guide me to be able to render quick and fast lightning results to my client so that there may be a reconciliation in this connection so that they both may be able to experience uh, the lush and bountiful love that they share towards one another so that they can both experience unconditional love. So once that is done, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some rum here. Now, if, <clears throat> as an example, if... Uh, you work with a different deity, then you would offer them whatever it is that they prefer. Okay. All right, so once that is done, we are all set to go, you guys, and this is where you would light... <clears throat> this is where you light the tea lights. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this work for my client so that she may be able to see with her very own eyes and with her very own heart the results of the spell work that has been done on this night for her so that her partner may come to her in a loving and unconditional way so that he may not be stubborn but follow his heart and just as the apple continues to soften so does a heart soften for my client and have the desire and intensity to look for her to ask her or to beg for her to give him another opportunity in perfect trust and in perfect love blessed be all right my lovelies once this is done like i said you're going to allow the tea lights to comp completely extinguish this is a three-day ritual so you must not disturb this spell work or this apple within those three days after the third day, what you do is you take the apple and you bury it, like I said, in a garden, um, preferably in your home. But again, if you don't have 
uh, if you live in an apartment or you live around other people, then make an exception and the exception would be to take it to a lush place somewhere where there is a garden, where there's flowers, a park. Um, if you don't live by a park, then perhaps the spell work is not for you, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, and comment. Comment below your results and encourage others to do this spell work. Of course, we go by uh, experience. So uh, the more you guys, you know, uh, give your results or uh, speak about your experience, other people may feel more comfortable of doing it themselves. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this, my lovelies. I send you guys all my love. Happy holidays. I hope you guys are staying safe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.